is situated on the River Ouse in what was the East Riding of Yorkshire. Whilst most ports in Great Britain are on the coast, such is the depth of the Humber estuary that a viable port could be established some 50 miles or so inland, with consequent major advantages, particularly in the pre-railway age. The port was founded by a Dutchman and opened in 1826. It was perfectly positioned to become the hub of the canal systems of that time and remains linked to the industrial areas centered on Leeds, York, Sheffield and Doncaster via these canals. The coming of the railways and increased developments of the ports at the mouth of the Humber didn't remove Gould's strategic role and today it remains one of the most important ports on the east coast of England. The link bridge spanning the entrance to the inner harbour and the start of the canal system leads us back to scenes in the early 1950s. Cargo handling methods were much the same as they had been for most of the first half of the century. There was still a great reliance on manual labour, despite the installation of many cranes and lifting gantries. Produce was baled or stacked in open frames, and there was no systematic or standardised form of loading. The modern port sees fewer but much larger ships, although there will always be a number of small vessels, and most freight is containerized or palletized. Major traffic dealt with includes the import of Renault cars for the north of England, iron and steel imports and exports, newsprint, and timber from Scandinavia and the old Soviet Union countries. As a member of Associated British Ports, Ghoul operates in conjunction with the company's other major ports at Kingston-upon-Hull and Immingham, the latter being a deep-water port and dealing with the heaviest trade on the Humber. It's now time to bid farewell to the SS Don. She was registered at Goul and named after one of the three major rivers which converge at Goul to form the River Humber. The others are the Air and Ouse. As she moves out, it's nice to know that her home port would once again be booming in the 1990s. In 1994, it handled over two million tons of traffic for the first time in 20 years. The first half of 1995 showed a further 20% increase on that. A very positive note on which to end our visit to the heart of Yorkshire.